Okay, go ahead. Talk. Say whatever you want to say to the camera. We're so glad to have you here watching our, our show. Thank you very much. And, and, and we hope you enjoy it. Say. Make sure you like. Make sure you like. Share. Share. And subscribe. And subscribe. To help our channel grow. To help our channel grow. Now say it by yourself. <laughs> say it by yourself. <laughs> Make sure you like and share and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. What's up, gamers? I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I'm bringing news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Friday, June 13, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. Ubisoft's online shooter, X Defined, sets itself apart by incorporating characters, maps, and cosmetics from various Ubisoft franchises, such as Ghost Recon and Far Cry. Executive producer Mark Rubin explains about the potential for adding characters like Rayman or the Panda from Just Dance in the game. The developers explain that their decision-making process involves identifying desired gameplay archetypes, such as defense, healing, or fire damage, and then matching these with characters from Ubisoft's vast IPs. For instance, DeadSec from Watch Dogs was chosen for their disruption abilities fitting well within the game's diverse faction lineup, which includes Libertad from Far Cry 6, Phantoms from Ghost Recon, and The Cleaners from The Division. Ruben emphasized that the goal is to celebrate Ubisoft's IPs by integrating iconic features into X Defiant, suggesting that future additions could include any Ubisoft character as long as they align with the game's mechanics. Are there any Ubisoft characters you'd like to see in the X Defiant game? Share your thoughts down in the comments below. Helldivers 2 players recently faced a tough moral decision, save thousands of sick children trapped in Super Citizen Anne's Hospital for very sick children or liberate the planet Markov to gain the new MD-17 anti-tank mines stratagem. Opting for the selfless choice, the community chose to save the children, earning them praise and $4,311 donation from Arrowhead to save the children. Arrowhead COO confirmed the donation, celebrating the community's decision. However, there's still a chance to liberate Markov and obtain the stratagem if players act quickly. With less than 24 hours left and Markov barely liberated, the Helldivers community must hustle to achieve both goals and secure their new expensive tool. What are your thoughts on the community's decision and the challenges ahead? Share your comments down below. Destiny 2's new raid, Salvation Edge, is one of the most challenging in the series due to its intricate puzzle mechanics. For most gamers, there's valuable loot at the end, including the powerful new raid exotic, Infinity. However, Twitch streamer and Destiny veteran Gathalon experienced a hilarious mishap on June 13th, just as he and his raid team defeated the final boss and were able to receive their loot, his game crashed. Reopening Steam, Gathalon discovered his account had been logged into another device, where his six-year-old son had started playing Bluey the video game, causing Destiny 2 to quit. The clip of this unexpected moment has gone viral with over 500,000 views and 1,000 likes on Twitter X. Gathalon, amused by his son's impeccable comedic timing, called it the funniest thing his son has done and considered submitting the clip for Bungie's Movie of the Week award. Have you ever experienced a funny gaming mishap? Share your stories down below. Fans have long desired Bloodborne on additional platforms, including PC and PS5, seeking enhanced features like improved frame rates and higher resolution. From software director Hidetake Mazaki in an interview with PC Gamer hinted at shared sentiments within the development team for a PC port. When asked if he personally wanted a PC version, Miyazaki pointed to his producer and interpreter Bobby Simpson, acknowledging their support for the idea and indicating he wouldn't oppose it either. He expressed a desire for more players to enjoy Bloodborne over time, highlighting the importance of preservation games as they age. However, the decision rests with Sony, which owns the rights to Bloodborne. While Sony has not yet announced any plans, the game's appearance in the upcoming Astrobot game serves as homage 
rather than a hint of future developments. Meanwhile, fans can look forward to the new Elder Ring content with the Shadow of the Earth Tree expansion launching on June 21st. What are your thoughts on a potential Bloodborne PC port? Share your opinions down below. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero players have much to look forward to when the game launches, including split screen multiplayer and several additional modes outside the standard online experience. One of the highlighted features is the episode battle mode, which lets players relive key moments from Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super with a twist. Players can take alternate routes and even experience some scenes in first person. According to the producer, this mode will feature 8 different characters with Goku receiving the most stages spanning from his fight with Raditz to the Tournament of Power Saga. While most battles will be a third person perspective, certain cutscenes will switch to first person to enhance immersion. Players will also have the options to change the storyline such as deciding whether Goku confronts Raditz alone or with Piccolo. This branching narrative approaches promises to add depth and replayability to the game. What are your thoughts on these new features in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? Share your opinions down below. Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, the revised and expanded multi-platform release, enhances the original game with significant updates. Now running at a smooth 60 frames per second on platforms like PlayStation 5, it addresses performance issues from the Switch version. Vengeance introduces the canon of Vengeance story path, featuring new characters transforming the narrative with additional story scenes and unique enemy encounters. The guest mechanic enriches the storyline, allowing plot essential characters to join your roster temporarily. The Demon Haunt offers interactions with demons and allies, providing gifts and stat boosts. Quality of life improvements such as detailed maps, Magatsu rails for quick travel, and the ability to save anywhere make exploration more enjoyable. The game also features new demons, side quests, and upgraded Masako skills while maintaining the challenging turn-based combat. Despite feeling easier overall, Vengeance detains the dark atmosphere and strategic depths of the original, making it a perfect opportunity for both newcomers and returning players. Diablo 4's upcoming mid-season 4 patch on June 17th will bring significant adjustments, including reducing enemy health and damage in the pit to make Tier 60 more accessible for most builds, thus easing the path to masterworking. The patch also addresses the overly powerful Holy Bolt's Elixir by scaling its damage to a percentage of the weapon damage rather than the enemy health. Several classes and builds will receive buffs. Additionally, Uber Uniques will see improvements and healing potions initially healing will increase by 200%. These changes along with bug fixes and quality of life updates aim to enhance overall gameplay and balance. What are your thoughts on these updates? League of Legends players have made good on their attempt to boycott a $500 cosmetic by banning the champion it's available for. The signature Ari skin, commemorating esports legend Faker, has sparked outrage due to the exuberant price, prompting concerns about Riot Games' future pricing strategies. In response, players plan to disrupt its use by banning Ari in every game. Now that the skin is available, Ari's ban rate has surged, doubling overnight in some regions. Although the spike may be temporary due to the limited number of bands available per game, it demonstrates the community's discontent. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.